this time on Pacific Island Food Revolution. The two remaining Tongan teams, the healthy Tongan cooks, Muffy and Mia. We are back, we are ready to cook, and we hope we're getting better. Cook head to head against the sisters, Tupo and Francis. Mmm, yum, lethal. They face a challenge of balance. We need to be eating more vegetables and less carbs. Half vegetables, quarter carbohydrates, quarter protein. But who will play the percentages? This challenge, half quarter quarter. We've never done these things before. And who will take the risks? OK. Five minutes. Hurry me up, hurry me up. We can do it. Pressure is on. Because at the end of this challenge... Ooh, you ready to taste? I want to live longer, Mia. <laughs> Oh, yes. Only one team will represent Tonga in Pacific Island Food Revolution. In the first Tongan heat, three teams entered the competition with the dream of representing Tonga in the finals. Welcome back. And we're faced with a very important challenge. Your challenge is to create meals worthy of being on the Kaimana menu. Let's go. <laughs> Each team gave it their all and did their best for their elders and the kingdom of Tonga. Our plan is to make very traditional Tongan food. The healthy Tongan cooks showed they meant business and delivered incredible dishes. Everything is looking good now. And sadly, Galo and Lopetti's time management saw them eliminated. This is where things go wrong. The competition's been tough up to this point, and today it only gets tougher in the Tongan kitchen. I'm Mafi. I'm Leah. And, and we, we are, are the Healthy, healthy Tongan Cooks. So, me and I work together at Tanoa Hotel. So I'm the second in command in the kitchen. And Mia was my demi chef. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, Sukini. So oh, good to know. I grew up here in Tonga and started working for Tano International three years ago. Looking at all these fresh foods we want to cook. Let's do it. Let's, let's make some good food. Local food. Local food. The produce of Tonga, it's really healthy. Everything is fresh from the farm every morning. Sir, Look at those awesome. tomatoes. Yeah. Fresh. If you're focused to stay healthy, you get everything there. Working in the kitchen, Muffy makes it easy. He's a really good trainer. Now this oh is the real taste of tongue. Yes. Oh yeah. Can't wait to taste. I have the passion for cooking. Our cooking style, we always think global. Go with our local produce. That's what I'm trying to show the locals. Another way of cooking taro leaves, another way of having cassava or taro, how to plate it. And not only that, but the portion size is really important for their health too. Every family can do it. Oh, yes. Yay! Yay! oh my goodness. Woo! Winning this competition is a huge step to send message to all the locals, how important our local produce and how to use it every day. And also we must value our life. 
eating healthy is part of that. Yay. I'll be backing up this person right here. We're gonna go all the way, mate matonga for life. <laughs> Welcome back to one of the most stunning venues in Tongataku, Katea Retreat. Today, we'll be finding out who'll be representing Tonga in the finals of Pacific Island Food Revolution. You should be proud of yourselves on the dishes that you produced on the last challenge. Mia and Mafi, I can still taste that cassava risotto. I keep coming up with new versions in my mind. It was fantastic, thank you so much. We are back, we are ready to cook, and we hope we're getting better. To Paul and Francis, you did well on the last challenge, but you played it quite safe. That's not gonna work this time. You're gonna have to go for it. We are feeling nervous because this is the final round for us. Remember teams, this is for a place in the finals. Now, over time, Lifestyles have changed in the Pacific, and people are not as active as they used to be. What we eat needs to reflect that change. We need to be eating more vegetables and less carbs to be supporting healthy lives. To achieve this balance, in an easy to remember way, we've come up with a simple formula, half, quarter, quarter. It means your plate will look like this. Half would be vegetables, quarter would be carbs, and quarter would be fish and meat. If you remember this, you'll be on the right track. Half the veggies, quarter the carbs, we never do that at home. We just make it how big you want and it, take it. Eat everything. <laughs> it's the right message. I believe that the problem is a portion size. Now, you'll all remember from season one, Josh and Knox, the social influencers. They know how to bring important issues to our people in a very fun way. Hold on to your aprons. Please welcome Josh and Knox. Yay! Oh. Hey. Hey. Stop it, guys. Mm. We're, just, hello, hello. we're just professional cooks, nothing more. <laughs> Josh and Knox are funny guys. They're like clowns. They're like tongue and cartoonies. Yep. The pros are back. <laughs> Why don't you tell the teams about your journey with Pacific Island Food Revolution and how it affected your life? Me and Josh, so grateful to be part of Pacific Island Food Revolution. We started this initiative. We call it the Umataha Elites, and it's for men fathers that uh, give up in being healthy, and we cut a lot of things that we love to eat, trying to lose more and be active. We also did a lot of work with our young people as well. We run dance classes with them. We teach them not just being fit, but also about eating right, eating healthier foods. We started off at an older age, so we're hoping that these young people will start at the right age. It's an inspiring story, thank you. It's been great to have you on the path with us. Do you want to hang around and give the team some tips as they're cooking? Yeah, I got sure. Yeah? Gee, That's why some, we're here, you know? Got some tips. new ideas for them, so uh, listen up, everyone. Just do it eat more veggies, being active. It's a good idea that we're trying that. I've caught a quarter. It's gonna be a huge change yeah. because our people really love their cups. Teams, you have 45 minutes and these boys for your challenge today. What is our simple formula, guys? Half quarter quarter. All right, you got it. I'm a bit nervous. This challenge, it's really put pressure on me. So you've got 10 minutes to select your produce team, and your time starts now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Everything is there for the idea. Quarter cups and quarter protein. Just add more vegetables. We need a lot of veggies today. Tomatoes, carrots, beans, and some coconut. All done? Cucumber. And we're going to make meitunu. 
It's very traditional. We want to represent Tonga and share a message for the future of our country. Yeah, and in Singapore. This challenge is eat more veggies, but when it's come to reality, whatever you have, as much as you can. Go, 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 go. The idea is new. We try our best what we can do and what we can put on the plate. Oh, some more of this. So we got all we need. We're excited to start now. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together and shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colours of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. I'm Tupo. I'm Francis. And, and we, we are, are sisters. sisters. Growing up, we have seven girls and four boys. I'm the oldest. I used to boss you around. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'm the youngest, but I'm the boss. <laughs> Go get it. Like my sister said, we all go when we're little. Yeah. Oh. Man. I love cooking. We cook from the heart. And it's an honor to represent our country. I want to be on that stage. And we had to promote healthy food and local food. When the food is delicious, I feel happy. We love to cook, they love to eat. But when the food is not delicious, it's a challenge. Do it better next time. When I start a family, I just had to start cooking for my little family. We have our own plantation. If our family need to eat belly, we had to plant the belly. Lu, taro, we have it. We love fresh food for the family. Tonga is promoting health and we have to do it in our home. This is how we prepare our food on Sunday. That we prepare some lu, kaloa'a or lo'i kaloa'a. We make eight to ten lu's for the rest of our family. You know my kids really love the lu. It's a healthy food. Mmm, yum. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we want to learn more about other countries, their dishes and ingredients. And like they say, if you want to change the world, start from home. Yeah. <laughs> They're looking away. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, you guys, you got 45 minutes and your time starts now. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Some of the cocoa. Come on. Hey, that's our job. Let's go, team. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> They're trying to steal the show, but when they say go, then go. Yeah, you start with the coconut? Just half. Just half, half of it. Good. Make my job easier. <laughs> 
We are going to be making fried fish with mashed kumala, green papaya salad, and bele, which is the main green on the plate. This is a lot, but uh, we'll hope we'll come together. Our menu today is a new way of presenting healthy Tongan food. Are you good, Masi? Yes, we are good, we are good, Mia. Kumala is in, Mia. I'm continuing with the fish now, eh? Let's put it here. We had to chop the kumala and put it inside our haka. Haka means boil in the pot. Now I'm trying mixing uh, the marinade for, for my fish. Three teaspoons of flour, and then I put on this uh, garlic, chopped garlic, and there's parsley then here. Today we're going to make grilled fish with breadfruit, meitunu. Peke peke to go with the meitunu, and some mixed veggies. Okay, so I have to slice my fish here. This is the mahi mahi. I'm cutting it thin so it cooks faster. And then put it in here. You marinate it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Garlic, parsley, and eggs, lemon juice. That's a really nice flavor to go with the fish. Yeah, yes, we're really looking forward to do it on time. This challenge, half quarter quarter, we never done these things before. It's not easy because at home we just make the full plate. Half, half, half. Half quarter quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, is it really 45 minutes? Um, this is a one hour hourglass. <laughs> I won't be meant to know it. <laughs> Did we just make the time go quicker? <laughs> Muffy, do you want to switch places? I come there. So you can be close to the stove. Move it, Muffy. I really like cooking with Mia. Number one supporter from behind. From the side. From wherever. <laughs> Hurry up. We have 45 minutes, Mia. Not an hour. Hey, I'm the boss here. I know, you're the boss. I'm just reminding you. We're going to be like that. Because we were like this. <laughs> but we're getting there. <laughs> the ginger. How are you going to use that in the fish? I'm going to mix this with the carrots. Okay. A little bit of um, fish sauce. Does that go on top of no. the fish? Or? We're going to stuff the fish and then pan fry. We want to follow the criteria. They really need more uh, vegetable. We're going to make sure it has the right amount. Half means half, quarter, quarter. Swordfish is a very best fish to use. The thing I like about swordfish is that even if you overcook it or not, it still tastes good. Yeah? Oh, tastes yeah. like fish. <laughs> it's gonna be taste like fish because it's fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next we have a uh, tri wrap. We use cumin, cardamom, coriander, paprika, a little bit of lemon juice, and coconut oil. Smell nice. When it fries, it's really all infused to the fish. The portion size, we have to control it. Maybe on uh, less than uh, 150 grams. People thought that Tonga, they are not eat healthy, but I don't agree with that. They should control their portion size. I think that's the problem now. Not too big, not too not small. Too big. It's a portion size. It has to be changed. Go, Muffy. We have to add a little bit of uh, coconut oil so it can release the fatty juice from the swordfish. Ah, oh, looking good. Whoa. Ooh, whoa. Malo, 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 malo. Look at that. Oh, my. Malo, Massimo, Mia. Malo, Massimo, Mia. Malo, Massimo, Mia. You can't malo. forget the other one, man. <laughs> hey, Mia. Yeah. It's a team. Yeah. It's a team. Man, it's already smell evil, though. Yeah, yeah. And he just put it on. I'm ready to eat, bro. We never got to eat the food on the last one, so uh, <laughs> we want to eat this one today. So, so it's going to uh, be the same on this one. <laughs> that's the one, Mia. That's the one. Josh and Knox seemed like cool guys. <laughs> Your nerves goes away because you just laugh at their jokes and everything. But Mr. Serious here. <laughs> Can you bring the tomato, Mia? Oh. Slice stuff, it for me? Okay, stuff, good luck, good luck. Thank you, thank you. You're a pain in the butt. <laughs> so 
I had to focus on my bread food to make it cook. It's a carbohydrate, that's why we use it. But I had to burn it all the way. That's what we call dunume. I cook in that way to make the smoke get into the breadfruit, just a little flavor. When it's covered with black, then it's ready. I want to cut it. Okay, I have cup. all the freedom. <laughs> I use makahunu. We call it makahunu or volcanic rock. Heat it up for the peke peke lemon coconut sauce. Scrub the coconut sesame for me, please. Woohoo! Hi guys. Hey. How's We're your fine. Oh my man, this looks familiar, you good know. Memories, well. good memories. So Hopefully it's as good as how we made it last year. Tunume, eh? Yeah, that's tunume. We call it the buo. That's kind of red fruit. It's not big, but it's mature enough to cook. All of those names wait. sound if over. <laughs> Watering my so. mouth. I can't wait. <laughs> Is your helper helping you over here? Yeah, she did help us. I can see a really good team working yeah. there. Yeah. Like, you don't have to talk, you can just, Cookies. you can read minds. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, guys. Thank Keep you. going. Awesome work. Keep it up. When they come around on the bench, it's encouraging me to do what they came through. OK. I'm on the scrapping the coconut. We are a little bit nervous to beat the other team, but we work as a team. As a sister, we cook from our heart, and we think we're gonna give the judges what they want. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right, now's the time to cook together to garden together and shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colours of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together, and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. Teams, you were 15 minutes down. I smell some amazing smells coming out of here. Don't forget the balance on the plate. Half vegetables, quarter carbohydrates, quarter protein. The fish is almost there. Oh, that's the color I really want to happen. From the marinade. Wow. Looks good in, looking looks good. good. Yeah. <laughs> I think the mistake that people will cook the fish because they keep on touching it. They, they should leave it. Leave it for a while. Let the heat do the work. Time is going fast, and there's a lot for us to get done. What's the tomato for? This for our salsa. Together oh, with this one, and then salsa. we have a pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside the bowl, cucumber and tomato with ginger. This is a salsa that can go with any white meat, fish, chicken. The salsa is no oil, just a little bit of honey and a little bit of lemon juice. I'm feeling muffy. Oh, you're not sweating. You should be good. Yeah, because it's a bit windy here and a bit cold. <laughs> You work on that, I'll work on our pineapple. I'll give you half for your drink. Yeah, I need half. You need I'm half. I'm gonna be extra and do a drink smoothie. All right. Tropical smoothie. All right. I just need a little bit for our salsa. With the pineapple, a little bit fish sauce, will be great. We have to minimize the amount of protein and carbohydrate. Everything about vegetable, we're gonna put a lot on the plate. It's not all about winning. 
It's about the idea of living healthy. And this one is a little better for me, my breadfruit. This side is almost done, and they had to change it for the other side to burn all the way, to make it all look black, to make it cook and easy to peel. It's not ready yet, but it's almost done. Okay, all done. What else do you need? Prepare your veggies for your fish. Oh. Half of our dishes is the veggies. The more veggies you have, the more vitamins. There's a measure that I learned from half quarter quarter. Eat more veggies. Okay, I'm now slicing the capsicum in uh, strips, right? Sometimes veggies is hard to get, but you can plant it at home. Lettuce, tomatoes, some carrots, so you can have it daily. It's affordable. I just have to pour this carrot here, make it uh, more soft. Not overcook, but a little bit crunchy. You are eating healthy food. I'm gonna start prepping for my tropical smoothie. So I'm just gonna take the inside because oh, there's Mia. no seed in it. Hey, oh, Mafia. Yeah. I'm gonna make my drink taste better than <laughs> Mafia's dish. <laughs> I'm making tropical otai with watermelon, cucumber, pineapple, and bananas. It's not only that, but she used the green coconut. Adding a bit of tongue and taste into it. The traditional otai is just water and sugar. But Mia's one, she doesn't add sugar. It's all the sweetness from all the fruits. It's really elevate um, the level of the otai. Are you ready to taste? I want to live longer, Mia. <laughs> okay. Come on. I'm a right, bartender right, 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 also right, right. at work, and I make cocktails and smoothies. Yeah, for other people, not for me. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, yes. We can't. Terrible. We no, can't. no, it's nice. nice. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grill this marinated fish here with some vegetable oil. OK. With mahi-mahi, you have to be careful that you don't overcook it. Otherwise, you lose yeah. that taste and ends up dry. Leave it there for about five minutes, and then you flip it. OK. Francis, we got 15 minutes to do this. Breadfruit and the coconut milk peke peke. Oh, yes. I'm going to cut the lemon into pieces and add it into the coconut. We're making the peke peke sauce. We decided to do it to the traditional way, rather than warm water. So my kako rock is already white. Then it's ready to make the milk come out. I'm going to do it now. Well, it's very hot. Had to squish it, make sure that all the coconut fresh was covered with the warmth of the rock. See, there's milk coming out. You can smell it. How sweet is it? Instead of water, you can do that uh, makahunu thing. Yeah. It helps make it more creamy, but not watery. That's what you call new taufua in mm -hmm. No water, you just squeeze it Squeeze itself. the milk. Woo! You can taste the lemon. After this, I'm gonna peel the breadfruit. I look at that breadfruit and it's still with the green. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> just turn black already. <laughs> right. I'll start with our crunchy green papaya salad. Yeah. It's going to come together with the fish, green papaya. It's more nutritious, so it's really healthy salads. Normally, people here in Tonga, they wait until it's ripe. So the green papaya is a twist. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, soy, and a little bit of a chili. Yes, a little bit of heat. The chili will bring everything together. Green papaya is everywhere. It's like pele. That's why I choose this uh, ingredients. It's really easy for everyone. 
It's usually in everyone's backyard. Anywhere you can walk on the roadside, you can get a wind mm, Just grab it and walk. Yeah, and hope the police will not follow you. <laughs> the police comes. <laughs> Muffy, we saw him on TV. <laughs> Rolling us to get him from the road. Now we will check out Kumara. OK. Kumara is good, looking good. Usually people have uh, milk, butter, and whipped cream for their mesh. Today I'm going to try to use coconut cream and see what's going to happen. Great. Okay, I'm about to do our chunky mesh. Household here in China, they don't have a blender or... Yeah, some don't mesh. have a blender and everything. So we made it easier just by using fork. And if you're gonna use fork to do a mesh, it's gonna be chunky. We've got a little bit of a touch of, a, of coconut cream. Ooh, great. I think we are good to go, Mia. So I had to make sure that my bread fruit is ready. My bread fruit, it's all covered with black, but I'm not sure that it's cooked already. But I had to take it out and start peeling it because of the time. Because it's hot, you had to be careful. I had to use a knife to peel the skin. You had to take all the black stuff. <sighs> when I peel it and I see it's already cooked, no more pressure. It's like kind of stress relief. <laughs> Time is almost done. OK. Then you had to slice it, ready to serve. Well, it's really nice to see them, Robert, so focused. Good teamwork, I'm noticing Very as well. Very good teamwork. I mean, they're just down on the bench, getting yes. it done. And this is the team that's going to come with me to Fiji. Mm. So they have to put their best foot forward. Mm. That's right. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear. What we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together and shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colors of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally, and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. Teams, you're at five minutes, five short minutes. Hurry, Mia, hurry, Mia. Are you OK? Yep. We can do it, we can do it. Pressure is on. Things should be plated soon. Then easily. <sighs> so we can put it on the plate. That's our Tongan plate. In Tonga, it's a polata. That's a part of a banana stem. We hope the judges will love our very traditional Tongan plate. I'll do the glass. Where is my butt? Come on, let's go, team. Go, guys, keep it up. Woo! Nearly there, nearly there. Let's, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Don't worry, guys. I got my lucky jangles for you. Same as I. <laughs> OK, great. Last to go. Billy, just plant it. Frank Bean. A little bit of curry, chilled tomatoes. It's going to be the 
face of our tissue. The main green on the plate is the belly leaves. We plant them first, straight from the pot uh, to a frying pan. We didn't really train the belly leaves, so it still have a bit of water to mix together with the oil. Nice. So when you taste it, you hardly taste the oil on the belly. After this, we plate. Yeah. Three minutes. Take it, Tonga. You can do it. Okay. Come. Okay. <laughs> We start plating our dish. Come on, put it in. Oh, get away. I want one more I have to bring the kumala from the haka while she's busy doing the mei, and I have to make my sauce. I'm on this lemon butter coconut sauce over here. The time was running out. You can do this. You can do this. It's okay. You can do this. So that's the half. This is the half korokoro. You sure you don't have that much? Can we just add grand. some? Yes, all right, all right. Mia. Yeah, Muffin needs to balance it out. Yeah, Muffin? Yes. Half veggies, quarter carbs, and protein. Quarter carbs, yeah? Quarter. What's the other quarter? <laughs> What's the fish? <laughs> no fish, Mia. Fish is going to the rubbish. <laughs> it's right there. Trying to check me, yeah? The parents, yeah, it's your challenge. Yeah. At the same time, we can't wait to put everything that we planned on the plate and show the judges. Just say a little prayer. <laughs> Slice it already. Ten, nine, nine come eight, on. seven, <laughs> six. Yeah. The last thing that I had to do to make a drink for our dish, it's good to have pure coconut water rather than soft drink. I can do this in five seconds. Five, four, three, three two, two. One! All right, guys, that's amazing. Even though the time is over, uh, we feel the pressure. We believe that we elevate the Tonga meal to another level, but decision is all on the judges. Come on. Just give me a high five. Ooh. That was crazy. How are you feeling? We did it. When I see the blade, it's made the half quarter quarter. The judges, I have strength to look forward for the dishes in they made. We both know only one team is going to represent Tonga. We really want this. I think we did well because Mafi was a bit at ease. But we still think that maybe there is a mistake there. I have no idea, but we just wait. I'm feeling nervous because we're waiting to know if we're going home or we're going to Fiji. We know that we did our best, and that's all we can do. Wow, Miss Pink. Miss Pinky. I just love this. This is Dupont and Francis's dish. Oh. First of all, what a gift. Right? It's quintessentially Tongan. Mm -hmm. And I think to have something natural like this as a food conveyor, it's yeah. admirable. That's right. Well, let's try this, shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh, it really works. Grilled fish with lemon coconut sauce. That's just a fantastic combination. And it's got a roasted lemon flavor, mm -hmm. which is from the rocks. And I guess. That is so complex and so fascinating. There's a nice smoky taste to the breadfruit as well. Just thinking that. Mm. Well, they roasted this right on the plate. In terms of the half quarter quarter mandate, mm -hmm. they've met that. Half of the plate is vegetables, and they've got the protein and the carbs allocated to their portions. And all natural flavors. I can see this being great picnic food. Absolutely. You know? Now, if you're going for a swim, catch the fish, come back, cook it, get your plate. There you go. And you know, they really stepped up, and that's what you asked. Mmm. They did. A little new matter with our Ooh. gorgeous meal from Tupo and Francis. Oh, we call it hihi loko. Lovely. Yeah. Ofatu. Ofatu. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. The coconuts of Tonga are just extraordinary. Yes. Aren't they? Which is extra flavorful. This could not be from anywhere else. No. It's very Tongan. Mm. They cook from their memories of home, 
of where they're from. And it's a fantastic way of reminding us that we do have all these cooking skills and cooking ways. So this is Mafia and Mia's saltfish. Yep. And it's so colourful. It could be on a front page of a cuisine magazine. And you could be the centrefold, of course. Oh, I would love to hold a plate like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we, my yes, dear? Yes, please. <laughs> I was waiting for those words. <laughs> lovely. Mm. The fish is beautifully mm. seasoned. They cook the fish in virgin mm. coconut oil, mm. so that flavour lingers in a beautiful nutty way. And that there's a little bit of spiciness. Yeah. Because yeah. of the papaya salad. A bit of chilli in it. Wow. Did you try the mash? No, it's not beautiful. yet. Beautiful. Beautiful and silky. Mm. We've also got the half quarter quarter. That's right. They've taken every opportunity to fold right. vegetables in. Yes. It's in the base, it's inside the fish, it's mm -hmm. in the salsa, mm -hmm. and it's in the layers of food that the fish mm -hmm. sit upon. Yeah. I would say they've actually exceeded the brief. Absolutely. By doing I this. totally agree. Absolutely. And they absolutely truly have. have captured the wow factor for me. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Mm. And we haven't even gone to the otter yet. <gasps> oh, yes. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. Isn't it great? I love that it's chunky, because that's true otai to me. Mm -hmm. But it's not overly fruity. Yeah. And I get concerned about smoothies that have too much fruit, because that means mm -hmm. there's a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. This is well balanced. The drink and the food came together very well. This real harmony, as, yeah. As the team, they are themselves. Absolutely. You know? That's great. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. Mafia and me, Tupo and Francis, mm -hmm. yeah. two. Equally wonderful meals, mm -hmm. but very different. Yep. Wow. That's a hard one. <laughs> because you know, when it comes to good food, we just eat them all. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Ooh. What do you want to do? Maybe we should ask Maui for his advice. Should we go look at some whales? We shall. Let's all do right. that. Let's, Let's do that. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together. And shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colours of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. Walking on the beach. We feel excited. I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a big moment for all of us. I don't know what to expect from the judges. Both team put everything together. Who's gonna win this challenge? We just wait until the judges announce. Guys. We asked you to give it your all on your final Tonga challenge. 
and definitely Deke Tonga. It was really clear how focused you all were. The planning, the teamwork, you all nailed the half quarter quarter challenge. We had two very different dishes, both excellent, but in very different ways. Mafi and Mia, I love how colorful your dish was. It reminded me of me. Your dish could easily be in a cover of a food magazine. I loved how you managed to add so many vegetables, but still maintain the balance. Nothing was overpowering. You exceeded the brief. It was marvelous, thank you so much. Hearing those compliments, I feel uh, very proud of our, uh, both of us. We feel amazing. It's like walking on air. Francis and Tupou, that sauce. But that roasted lemon and coconut flavor was extraordinary. When I saw you using stones, I was like, that's Tongan. Malo. We asked you to step up today, and you certainly did. It was Yi for Yi for. I love that you still use traditional techniques, the banana plates and the hihi loko. Your use of traditional ways reminds me of who we are as Tongans. Tongan soul food, so many wonderful memories. I feel proud when Flo said it's bring memories for her because to revive the traditional ways of cooking. So this, this new generation is gonna still have that knowledge. We are so happy. Both teams cooked incredible and amazing food. But which is the best team to go to battle for Tonga in the finals? It's really important to me to win this competition. We're doing this for our whole country and for everyone. This is the time to know if you're going home or we're going to the challenge in Fiji. And that team is... Muffy and Mia, you're coming with me to Fiji! <laughs> You're an incredible team. You really are. Muffy, I watch the way you work and I watch the way you think. And you think about food all the time. Even when you take a break, I can tell you're thinking about food. It, it, it just really moves me. And that commitment and that passion, along with the support you had from Mia, you've honored Tonga and you've honored Pacific Island Food Revolution. Malo Alpito. Thank you. It's really moved me and motivate me and make me feel to do more about our local produce. Thank you. Oh, it's a good feeling, a great feeling, an indescribable feeling. It shows that the no cooks and the pro cooks can cook. Anybody can cook. And with the experience and skills I've learned, I'm sure we can do this. Hey, Muffy. <laughs> We feel all that pressure is gone. We are really happy that we made it. It's feel amazing. <laughs> we are on top of the world. To Paul and Francis, you've come such a long way in the short time you've been with us. And with mothers like you cooking food like this, the future of Tonga is in great hands. Ofatu. Ofatu. Thank you so much for bringing the essence of Tonga to Pacific Island Food Revolution, we will never forget you. Thank you, and malo albito. Malo. I feel like we're all winners because we're promoting more healthy Tongan food. We are part of the food revolution and we'd like to take it home. Share it with all our families, friends, just to make sure that all families are healthy. Flo, got some serious Tongan cooks on your vodka. I do. Congratulations, Mafia and Mia. You are my Tongan food warriors. You're the perfect team to represent Tonga in the finals. <laughs>
We are so excited to be Team Tonga and represent our nation at the finals. Oh my God. We show the rest of the competitors what we can put on the plate. We can't wait. And what Tonga is made of. Bring the win. <laughs> The healthy, healthy Tongan, Tongan cooks, cooks are coming, coming for you. you. Mate Matonga. Matonga.